Okay, so this is a matrices past paper question. It is 2017 question 4. Uh, 4a, first of all, asks, describe fully the transformation represented by the matrix 1, 0, 3, 1. We should be well used to something like this. Hopefully you recognize it as a shear. Um, it's going to be parallel to the y-axis. And because of this 3 here, then it's going to be scaled factor 3. Um, we should know this. If you don't know it, um, maybe try the unit square and put in the coordinates for the unit square and see what happens. You'll hopefully get an idea. Then there's, been, there's going to be a shear going in that direction there. Okay, um, so that's part A. Part B, it says, find the image of the circle x squared plus y squared equals 9 underneath the transformation represented by the matrix 3, 2, 1, 4. So every point on this circle is being put through this and it comes out then and gives us a new shape. Um, so any time we take a coordinate from here, x, y, it gives us a new coordinate then, big X and big Y. We're going to multiply, there's a wee technique to do this, so we're going to multiply both sides of this here by the inverse of this. If I multiply this by the inverse of this, it obviously makes this bit disappear and we just end up then with x, y. The inverse then of this is going to, of course, going to be 3 times 4, take away 2, which gives us 10, so the determinant then is... 10, so 1 over the determinant, and then change those two round, change the signs of these two, 4 minus 2 minus 1, 3, upon big x, y. Um, that means our x must be a tenth upon 4 big x minus 2 big y, and it means that y must be a tenth of minus x plus 3y. So where do we go then from here? That means any time I see an x here, I'm going to exchange it for this. Anytime I see a y here, I'm going to exchange it for this. Once we multiply it out and tidy it up, that'll give us what we need. That'll give us the inner new shape. Um, so let's sub this in and see what we end up with. Uh, we're going to square this. So it's going to be 1 over 100 upon 4x minus 2y, all squared, plus 1 over 100 minus x plus 3y all squared and that equals 9 and um, easiest thing to do here I hope you agree is to multiply through then by a hundred so we're going to multiply through by a hundred that's going to disappear that's going to disappear that's going to become 900 at the same time we're going to do foil for this and foil for this so that's going to give us 16 x squared minus 16 x y plus 4 y squared plus here x squared, um, outer and inner, minus 6xy, plus 9y squared, equals 900. Uh, rearranging that and getting all the like terms together, we end up then with 17x squared, plus 13y squared, minus 22 x y minus 900 equals zero and that's the image then of the shape that we're looking for uh, the last wee bit this find the area enclosed by the image curve so this gives us a new curve of which we've really no idea how to find the area of it we know this one here is a circle and we know the radius of this circle here is three so we're going to use that method so let's find the the um area of the original shape so area of a circle is pi r squared I hope you know that one um, which is going to give us then 9 pi um, we have used the um, what have we used sorry I've lost the matrix 3 2 1 4 and hopefully you remember that um, the determinant gives you the scale factor um, so the determinant of 3, 2, 1, 4, we worked out earlier, was going to be 10. It's 10 for this. Uh, we multiply that by 9 pi, so the area of the new shape then must be 90 pi.